everything I have heard, and this is really interesting, is that Boston is not afraid. Boston is not afraid of Rich Paul coming out again in Sports Illustrated saying they can trade for him. It's just going to be for a year. Not afraid. Um, and I don't see a way that Boston can get him without trading Tatum. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. He, wait, wait, wait. So Boston would trade for Anthony Davis. So we just talked about Kyrie Irving. They could lose Kyrie Irving, trade Tatum for Davis, and then lose Davis? Is this something that could really happen? I don't think that's a smart move for the Boston Celtics. You got to fall back. You can't allow your ego to get involved in this one. And I know that KG initially said that he didn't want to go to Boston. They ended up trading for him, pairing him with my brother Paul Pierce and Ray Allen, and they won a championship and they had some great times. But this is different. When you put it on wax the way he has, that he does not want to be a member of the team, you do not want to trade your young star asset in Jason Tatum, and then all of a sudden you look up in two seasons, you without Kyrie Tatum and Anthony Davis. You can't make that move if you're Danny Ainge. I do not like that move for the Celtics whatsoever. I mean, the Celtics' future is really interesting. Based on the bad season that they had, you can lose Kyrie Irving. You cannot trade your young nucleus in order to bring in a superstar who's just guaranteed to leave in one season. It's a really interesting report from Zach Lowe there. There's also some more information about a potential Anthony Davis trade. There are reports that the Lakers... Of course, they're trying to trade for Anthony Davis, but now they're trying to get a third team involved in order to get the trade done to put together a package that David Griffin will accept. There's sort of an old adage in the NBA that a three-team deal means a zero-team deal. Do you think a three-team deal is in play here that would eventually bring Anthony Davis to the Lakers where we all expect he will end up? I don't think a three-team deal needs to be in play it's going to be mandatory for it to take place. Whatever the Lakers are offering right now is the same thing they offered in February. And I don't care who the GM is, and David Griffin is my guy, and he's going to do a terrific job. Got to get what they need. But the owner ultimately has to sign off on trading a guy like Anthony Davis, the owner. And mm -hmm. she already came out and said, and I know she walked it back, She'll do a deal with the Lakers over her dead body. So let's look further at the Lakers package and how it's changed since February. Brandon Ingram, terrific young talent, all-star potential, going to be a guy that gets buckets for a long time in the league. But he is recovering from a blood clot situation, and I wish him the best. Lonzo Ball it ended the season in street clothes, not in a uniform. OK, if you're the Pelicans, you just got Zion. You just got Zion. Let me say this one more time. You just got Zion, okay? And if he lives up to the hype in any way, shape, or form, you can be patient. You don't have to rush it. And you don't want to just get what the Lakers have. You want whatever's out there. You want to discuss potential free agents. You want to acquire current all-stars. You want to acquire current assets that's going to build around a guy that many believe is going to be a franchise-changing player in Zion Williamson. So, Jalen, I'm of the belief that Anthony Davis' trade will happen before they draft Zion. Do you agree with that? No. I don't agree really? with that. Really? I don't agree with that. No, 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 So no, you no, think no, they no, will no, draft no, 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 no. Zion Williamson, no, no, invite no, him, no. and then have a press conference introducing him, and he'll be wearing the Pelicans hat, and yes. he'll and they'll still yes. have Anthony yes. Davis on the team? Yes. You really believe oh, that? So yes, amazing. I do. I do believe that. Why? Here's why. Why rush? What, what's the rush? Like, I'm not moving him before the free agent dominoes happen because that's going to be the most important thing that happens in the league. And for those who haven't been paying attention, Kevin Durant got injured. So who's the favorite to win the championship now next year? No idea. Absolutely no idea. I have no Boom. idea. I have no idea. No. There you go. So 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 why rush? There, there, there is no reason to rush. You take your time, you get the best deal, and you figure out, oh, okay, this is what happened with Kawhi. This is what happened with Kyrie, J Jimmy Butler, Tobias Harris, Klay Thompson. You let all of that happen. 
You don't move one of the top players in the game and all of a sudden you shoulda, woulda, coulda after the point, after the fact. You let it play out and then you move them and get exactly what you want. Is there any chance that Anthony Davis wears a Pelican uniform and plays a minute of NBA basketball for New Orleans next year? If I'm him, he never meet. If I'm the organization, he never meets Zion. The only way they meet is if they play basketball together and it's not in our facility. I don't co-mingle those guys in any way, shape, or form. But I'm not going to rush either. I am not going to rush. I still have him under contract. So if I feel like I'm getting lowball offers, I feel like I'm not getting what I want, guess what he loves to do? Play basketball and get paid to do it. So if he does not get moved and you start the season with Anthony Davis and Zion, that's pretty good, ain't it? Wouldn't you like that? Isn't that a person that you would like to see Zion learn from and figure out what it's like to be a productive star in the league? I don't, and here's another guy that nobody's talking about. When they move Anthony Davis, they're gonna move Drew Holiday too. Ooh. So, yeah, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Ooh. So, not only, not only would they be moving him, they moving Drew, and probably they won't be going to the same team. That's why you need to get a third and maybe even a fourth squad involved. Interesting. So one thing I don't like about the idea of starting the season with Anthony Davis and Zion Williamson is I don't want Anthony Davis's mentality and Anthony Davis demanding a trade and, and you know, the that's all folks t-shirt. I don't want that poisoning the Zion Williamson waters. You know what I mean? Like when Zion Williamson enters the franchise, I want everything to be good for him. I want everything to be copacetic. You know, I want the umbutu that they had in the Celtics. I don't want Zion Williamson, as you mentioned, to ever meet Anthony Davis unless they're wearing different uniforms.